Sarah, a paranormal psychology student, goes missing under mysterious circumstances with a random bystander finding her phone, who inspects it in order to find clues potentially finding her. That's when strange events unfold before this unlucky bystander, learning about things he could never dream of in his worst nightmares. Hi folks, I'm R, your narrator. This video was suggested to me on Twitter, where you can also suggest other games and communicate with me. This video will have spoilers ahead. With that in mind, let's begin. The unnamed protagonist finds a stranger's phone with low battery, who tries to find the owner of the phone. Unfortunately, the phone runs into a critical error as soon as it's opened, with a genius and innovative virtual assistant called Iris assisting the protagonist in order to find the owner. It informs the protagonist that the phone belongs to a girl called Sarah Young and quickly discovers that the protagonist is not Sarah. Iris soon sends a disturbing video to the protagonist, mentioning it to be the last video of Sarah. The video displays an afraid Sarah moving quickly while crying, as if she's running away from someone. Iris then mentions that the rest of the content within the phone seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged by someone. Subsequently, it pleads with the protagonist to help in order to find Sarah. The protagonist, curious to why the virtual assistant cares so much and how human it sounds, Iris quickly changes the topic and mentions that time is of essence. Soon, more apps are restored with Iris, instructing the protagonist to look through Sarah's messages to discover of her whereabouts. Going through the first series of messages with Faith, dated 28th of April, she asks Sarah to go with her to a party called Walpurgis Nacht, to which Sarah shows reluctance. It's then that Faith mentions she thought that Sarah would be into this kind of stuff, as she is hinted out to have been a paranormal enthusiast. Walpurgis Nacht, or Walpurgis Night, is one of the Dutch and German names for the night of 30th of April which is believed to be the night of the witches' meeting. It's revealed that Faith was a practicing Wiccan, hence why she and Sarah probably got along well together. Through text messages with Sarah's mother starting from 14th of February all the way to 27th, the protagonist learns that she recently broke up with her boyfriend Derek and that Sarah studies paranormal psychology which the mother disapproves of. Further in their conversation, it's revealed that she lost her father, whom seemingly was unemployed, relying on the mother. Going through the text messages with Derek, seemingly, he and Sarah traveled to a country to spend their valentines, when he suddenly, without prior notice, flies to a different country to photograph nude women as a last minute gig, something he apparently does for work. Understandably, this leaves Sarah speechless, leaving her all by herself, leading to them breaking up on Valentine's. Through more text messages with Aya, a good friend of Sarah, it shows that suddenly she stopped responding to her messages on 1st of May, something uncharacteristic of Sarah, something that Iris suggests to be possibly due to her recent breakup affecting her mood. Sarah, through her texts with another friend who's a sleazeball, explains about her college thesis, which is of research about relativity of ghosts to culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings, something that might have been the cause of Sarah's disappearance. James, another contact of Sarah, seems to be a friend of hers and a college partner doing work together. Going through emails, Buddy's email to Sarah contains a concerning message to not open a malicious chain link spread around as it's believed to bring a bad omen. Seemingly the senders also encourage the receivers to spread this malicious link, usually attaching a video. Learning about Sarah's birthday, being on Valentine's, the protagonist manages to go through her gallery to seek more clues in order to find her. After going through some personal videos and images, learning about her personality and how she explains a theory of hers that the relevancy of ghosts today could be in the cyberspace, the protagonist comes across a strange image. After asking for Iris's help, it manages to recover more corrupted messages from James and Faith. On 30th of April, Faith insists on Sarah going to the Walpurgis Nacht party, which Sarah reluctantly accepts and goes to the location of meeting at 8pm, which is deep in the jungle. 
After waiting for a while, with Sarah growing more and more concerned, she receives a mumbled, whispering, unintelligible audio from her, where their text conversation ends. Reading the recovered rest of James' text messages on 30th of April, he informs Sarah about a strange paranormal thing he found, which could come in handy for Sarah's research. He explains that it's called Red Room, with reports having indicated people had died through strange circumstances. Apparently, after watching a certain video on the website, the viewer soon goes insane. He further expands that a serial killer involved in the case of Sasibu slashing had this Red Room website on his phone. After watching the disturbing video, the phone glitches rapidly, with Iris starting to malfunction, with the difficult to read texts mentioning that the Red Room is connected with a cult, and that the cult is connected to the phone now. Iris then instructs the protagonist to read a text thread it just recovered under the name of Erizu which might contain more clues about the whereabouts of Sarah. The text by Erizu has a specific way of grammar and sentencing, writing Holu with a U. Erizu mentions that it received Sarah's contact from Faith and that it will escort Sarah to their party. Picking up creepy vibes from Erizu, Sarah pleads with it not to fetch her and come to her location which it strangely knows, which it insists that it will come anyway. Going through an email by James at 3am in the morning, the protagonist witnesses a satanic calendar he attached, which shows 30th of April is when blood needs to be shed, whether through animal or human sacrifice, with the subsequent day being a coven initiation. Suddenly, the protagonist receives a phone call from James at 10 p.m., who seems to be outside mentioning that he's at the site now, as if someone instructed him to be in a specific location. A second phone call follows with a strange horn blowing, with James sounding more scared. He takes Sarah's phone quickly, with the protagonist replying to him. He forwards a video which talks about a cultist initiation, which he relates to the email he sent mentioning human sacrifices, indicating that James is witnessing humans being sacrificed by cultists right before his eyes. Suddenly, James stops responding after mentioning that they saw him, with the too familiar specific holo with a U being written, with the writer capturing James and writing on his behalf. The writer mentions that the protagonist is not Sarah, providing the protagonist with a choice to whether send a chain link with the Red Room video attached or that James would die as a consequence, with a photo sent of him being taken as a hostage. The protagonist has a choice to forward this link or let James die, which in this case, she lets him die, not spreading the link, a link with a video that Sarah seemingly watched herself, with the protagonist watching as well, infecting the phone and corrupting Iris. Erezu then messages Sarah's phone directly speaking to the protagonist, who mentions he's one of the leaders of this night's ceremony. Yet again, Erezu provides the protagonist with a choice to choose whether for Faith or Sarah to die. An image indicates that they are kept as hostages, with people wearing demonic-looking masks. The protagonist chooses Faith to die in order to save Sarah. Erezu then invites the protagonist to go to a location with specific coordinates, when a corrupted iris reveals that it's been part of the cult, with more information slowly being revealed to the protagonist soon. It finally mentions that the protagonist won't make it any further, and if she has any last words, when it all comes to an abrupt end. It seems as if the satanic cult had supernatural connections, communicating and using outworldly entities through cyberspace to possess and eventually kill people. The Red Room video seemingly was a totem of some kind used to let the cult infiltrate one's device and mind. That's why Erezu learns about who the protagonist is after he watches the video, leading to him losing his mind seemingly becoming possessed by the end of the game, with the corrupted Iris mentioning that the protagonist won't make it any further. He seemingly will become the subject of the cult to do whatever they wish with her or him. The cult somehow managed to find a way to cybernetically possess their victims and use them for whatever purpose, whether for killing others, performing certain sensitive tasks, or just becoming ready as a sacrifice. This is a fate James, Sarah, and Faith suffered, who all possibly watched the Red Room video. After watching the Red Room video, 
the phone becomes corrupted and Iris seemingly gets under the control of the cult through paranormal advantages. This is presumably how Sarah was captured and why her phone had system failure. Iris, alongside other apps, become deleted for the phone ready to fall under the hands of another unlucky bystander who will ultimately become the cult's latest victim. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch more by clicking on the cards on the screen. You can also stay tuned for the latest videos such as this one by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your host, Dar, and as always, have a fantastic day.